In this lesson, we're going to talk about absolute values. An absolute value is defined as how far a number is from zero. So given this definition, since we're just looking at how far it is from zero, we know that the absolute value will always be positive. And the notation that's used for absolute value is these kind of straight brackets that will be around the number. And so if we look at this, we'll just look at an example of the absolute value of negative 5. This is the notation that would be used. And if we want to know how far negative 5 is from 0, we know that that's just 5. And as we can see, this is a positive number. So the absolute value of negative 5 is just 5. And if we looked at the absolute value of positive 5, that would also just be 5, because they're both 5 places away from 0 when you look at the number line. So if we look at an example, the temperature was negative 6 degrees and is now 3 degrees. So we want to know how much the temperature has risen, and then what is the absolute value of the two different temperatures. And so first... To get a better visual, we could draw out the whole number line to include these temperatures. And so we know that we're starting off at a negative 6. This is where we are first. And then we later are at 3 degrees. So if we wanted to find how much the temperature was risen, we could just draw out this number line and count how many spaces, and we'd find that the temperature rose 9 degrees. Or an easier way of doing it, so we don't have to draw out this whole number line, if the numbers were a lot bigger, this would obviously take a lot longer, we can just find the absolute value of each temperature and then combine them, because since that'll be the distance that each of them is from zero, Combining them will give us the total amount risen. So the absolute value of negative 6, looking at our number line, we can see that the negative 6 is 6 spots away from 0. And the 3, the absolute value of 3, is just 3. And so 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 degrees. So that is how much the temp rows. And so that is how absolute values work.